I think a day has gone by in the past 12 months where I haven't said to myself, get up James, you can do this. Get up James, get up. Come on James, get up. It ain't over yet. Just believe, it ain't over. Good evening and welcome to the vlog. I can't say good morning. I did earlier on, but I lost the footage because my memory card was corrupt. I'm still gonna do it for you guys anyway. Good morning. And welcome to the vlog. It feels like I haven't vlogged in a while. It was pretty much when I started playing Pokemon about three weeks ago. So I don't know what that says about what I've been doing in my spare time. Priorities, James. And I don't think I lost the next bit of footage. As soon as I stop pacing back and forth in this room, I am heading downtown for a coffee. I'm also gonna do a bit of reading. Later, I am meeting some family for a second coffee and maybe play some games later on. It's one of those spontaneous Sunday fun days. My new video with my mum went up yesterday. I am really, really happy with this video. Um, we both had a lot of fun answering the questions that you sent in, and I do have an idea for next week's video, which I'm still kind of playing around with um, at the moment. I do think that it'll tie in the last two weeks pretty nicely. This week was just me and my mum. Last week was me and my mum and my uncle, and I think this idea, if I do decide to go with it, will tie them in. Good job saying that twice, James. Right. Before we go anyway, I'm just gonna prop you by there. Now with a haul, I'm actually not 100% sure what they are, but basically, from my understanding, is you buy things, and then you show people why you bought, and then, no, I don't actually get what a haul is. Basically, this is all very old clothing that I've been hoarding onto, and I have to decide whether I want to keep it, get rid of it, and probably share the story behind them as well because at some point in my life I have made the decision to purchase each and every one of these items and it does look like quite a hideous collection. There's actually a lot more here than I thought so I'm going to be very ruthless and it's going to be a turn and burn. Yes, no. That's maybe yes, kind of. That's no. Let me turn the light on. I recognise this straight away. This is when I went to an 80s party. I love the 80s. I wasn't around in the 80s. And I should probably stress that some of this is about six or seven years old. I am very much going to say yes to the 80s party because you never know when you're going to go to an 80s party. And it's my birthday next month, so I still don't have plans yet. Wow, these are the trousers that I wore with the I Love 80s top. So now you can confirm whether or not this is an 80s outfit or not. I was wearing plain white shoes and I think I look like a bit of a pleb. Do I have that photo anyway? I'll look for it. Well, there we go. That took a whole four minutes to do. And I've kept three t-shirts and a tracksuit bottoms and if I threw any aside without explaining them it's because they weren't very interesting. And now my battery is dying because as always I forgot to charge it last night. I'll see you in the next clip when I have a fully charged camera. I broke you. I'm sorry. Please? Here we go. No. <laughs> well there you go, now you can truly appreciate how much of a fashion icon 20 something year old James used to be. That kind of implies that I'm not now. I guess I'm the weirdo that's up really early on a Sunday because I've never seen Cumbran Town Centre this quiet except for late in the evenings. They are the first two, there's two people behind me, they're the first two people I've seen since I've been walking around here. Wetspoons just does good coffee, it's only a pound. And um, hello. Yeah, that always seems to happen. The first person that you bump into, you know. So what was I saying? Wetspoons coffee. It's just, it's so cheap and I like cheap. I'm cheap. I check to get the house first thing in the morning and collect all these book stops. That was a meowth. These last few days have been really fun. I have forgot to record quite a lot of today because I've just been chilling with family. We've just been sitting there, drinking and chatting, chatting away. I said earlier I would talk about why I am vlogged in a while and it's because I've been lost in my thoughts a lot this week. Deep time. 12 months ago I went through a really challenging breakup and I'm not going to talk about that right now but it's more the decisions I made with my head in the clouds and the person that I became. So four months later this past January I started a new business to visit schools and share some stories from my past uh, dealing with bullying when I started my first business 
um, when I was 20 years old and the speaking business never really became a business. I never actually earned a penny, although as many people know the story, it was actually funded for six months. During that time, after 10 years of watching YouTube videos, I did start my own channel and it was my way of dealing with this feeling of loneliness. Um, if any of you have ever gone through a difficult relationship breakup, I guess everyone deals with it differently, but I feel that working on something that you're passionate about helps you really fill that gap. I don't know. So many of you have been giving me such lovely feedback and comments here on my YouTube videos and on Twitter. Well, for the majority of them, they've been really happy comments. And over time, I found that being honest with my emotions has made me a happier and more confident person. About four weeks ago, the funding program ended, which is why my head's been so much in the clouds because I've just been trying to think, okay, what's the next step? I understand that this wasn't permanent. This was just a six month placement just to help me pursue something that I enjoy doing, but I was constantly thinking what's next. And then within the blink of an eye, everything just changed. I, what I felt like I'd been working up to for the past 25 years, I finally received the email saying, that I got accepted for a placement, a job, sorry, um, as a filmmaker, doing something that I love doing. I don't think a day has gone by in the past 12 months where I haven't said to myself, get up, James, you can do this. Get up, James, get up. Come on, James, get up. It ain't over yet. Just believe, it ain't over. I'm not alone. Get up. Thank you so much for any of you who have been leaving me really sweet comments. It's funny how much can change in a year. And I'm sat on my bed rambling about doing what you love and YouTube. You do more of what you love and you'll learn new things, you'll grow as a person, you'll meet new people, and you'll appreciate the small things in life. Okay, now I'm very hungry. Is it weird to eat eggs before bed? Because I've been doing that since I was about 19 years old, and I'm 26 years old next month. So I've been doing that for seven years, eating eggs just before bed. Is that weird? That is enough food talk, let's, let's go eat. Guys, I'm going to sign the vlog off here. Thank you for being the most awesome viewers in the world. And remember, you'll never be alone because there'll always be someone who loves you for who you are. I'll see you guys soon. Good night. Where were I, my love?